great again, but it feels different. Surprised I can pull you into this place? The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned Emily into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. What's she playing at? Maybe how is the question? go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year, I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the street with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell me the name? We were just playing. Just... What's your account? It was her! Delilah's life! She broke it! the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for I was crafty even before the Outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Your sentence is served and she'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. How much of this is true, and how much is Delilah's warped imagination? Fifteen years ago, the Loyalist Conspiracy asked me to kidnap Anton Sokolov, and I did. I took him from his home to the pub we were hiding in, and locked him in a cage meant for dogs. And you know what? He laughed at us. He told dirty stories, taught Emily more than her governess could in six months. He seemed immortal. His mind shaped our age. That's changed. The old man I rescued doesn't talk much. He eats what we give him, groans in his sleep, coughs out blood. I'm not even sure he knows where he is. Jessamine? Delilah's stronger now. 
Am, Am I, I to blame, blame for Delilah's bitterness? Of course not. She's driving all of this. Our decisions, decisions have weight, and I feel, feel my time drawing to an end soon. You could barely speak, but it's been three days. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne and she has Emily. Anton, once we had you in a cage and you dared us to kill you, I need that man back. Kovo, she's right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sir Konos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor. Brianna Ashworth. The curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous. As obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to. Take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. Keep track of all the decrees. 
My client's refurbishing a gazebo, adding an exotic southern touch. I don't get it. When I went to Dunn, I brought back a river for a show. Hopefully, it just lies. Who's there? Need some help over here! Coming! Ready? Oh, this shouldn't dear. take long! At your command! Stay back! Time to collect this bounty! You hide your face, Whoa, coward! Oh, Over here. running! What's going on here? Someone's suspicious. What? Holy so, shit! Let's see. What was it? It was coming from here. Let's see. Your lucky day, madam. It's the day you get to meet Pirate Betty in person. Time to pay the price if you want to live. Oh no, please! I have nothing. I'm just a poor maid. I see. You've heard the stupid. Real man. Another Howard. fish in the trap. Five You're gonna pay for her death. Man. Think you Cut look you tough? Hide. Refurbishing a gazebo, adding an exotic no southern touch. Way. I don't get it. When I went to Dunham, I don't have to do it for a show. Because it reminds me of good times. I can wait. Today's your lucky day, madam. It's the day you get to meet Pirate Betty in person. Time to pay the price if you want to live. Please! I have nothing! I'm just a poor maid! I see you've heard the stories about Pirate Betty, about all the terrible things I've done to the fools who refuse to give up some trinket or a bag of coins. Have mercy! Don't hurt me! Should I start by cutting off your nose? Help! Anyone help me! Or maybe I could sign my name across your forehead with a knife, use you as a human billboard. <sighs> All right, no one's coming. Someone's shooting What's going us. On here? No, is she? There's nothing to do.
Who are you? Stop! You're done! Let me show you how I got my stripes. Back for mercy! I'll tear you to... Hey you, this area is off limits. For a while I believed Ashworth has some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracular Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order? So Vice Overseer... Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. Take a look around. Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. Now think about it. See anything you like? <coughs> what a pleasant surprise to see you again. Ah, you want blueprints for better weaponry. I look forward to the day when I get an excellent choice. <clears throat> no need to wrap it for you, I suppose. Farewell. And do think of... Us again.
Anybody? Don't make me search the whole place. I don't have time for that. Saw something? A new empress sits on the throne in Dunwall. Our rightful ruler. What? Conservatory. What do those walls hide? this shuddering city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society, forced to win some bloated banker. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk at fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But, just before mother and father married her off, so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that, never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well.
here and not here when you call to me. Someone found an officer's pistol in the gutter. I think something else happened. Maybe they went inside the conservatory. Look, Karnoff is leaking people. We tell ourselves we're keeping it together, but everyone is afraid of what will happen when it really falls apart. <laughs> Something moving. Holy shit! You're so dead! Out of thin air! Out of thin air! That's 